Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for everyone. and girls. My name is Mrs. Fay, and I'm so excited to have you join me today so that we can become amazing readers and writers. So I'm going to start off by sharing some of my favorite books. And I know some of you guys have been making your brain stronger and smarter, and you guys are ready to read chapter books. So I'm going to start featuring some of my favorite chapter book series this week. Today, I'm going to start with the Junie B. Jones series. And, and these are books written by Barbara Parks. And I'll have three here, but if you read the Junie B. Jones series, there are lots of books within this series. So these series are about a spunky little girl named Junie B. Jones and her adventures. So if you want to um, read these chapter books, make sure that you are checking them out on Sora or trying to, or finding them at your county library. Now, speaking of Sora, Let's see which school made the top five countdown. Now, today's Monday, so we're going to start with the school that came in fifth place. So this week, coming in, and number five is Mayfair Elementary. Awesome job, Mayfair. Good job. I think this is the first time that we've seen you on our countdown. Awesome job. So boys and girls, remember, if you want to see your school, on our top five countdown, make sure you're checking those books and reading them. And if you want books that you want to recommend for other second graders to read, make sure that you are writing to me here at the studio. And once you write to me, I'll send you one of these. Oh, let me get these fun activity books. So use the um, address below. Write to me, tell me what you're learning, tell me what books that you would recommend for other boys and girls. Now, are you guys get ready to learn today? Awesome, let's get started. So we'll start off by warming up that brain by playing a game called Mystery Word. Now remember, in this game, I'm gonna show you some sound spelling cards. Your job is to blend them together to guess my word. Now, if you have a pencil or a whiteboard or something nearby that you can write on, make sure that you're writing so that we can check to make sure that you're spelling the word correctly. Are you ready? Awesome, let's get started. Let me move my chart over. Okay, ready? Here's the first sound. The first sound is the cube card. Now remember, the cube card says you. The next sound is the nest card. The nest card says n. Okay, blend it. K. Oh, I'm sorry. Yoon. Next card is the insect card, and that's the i sound. And last card is the turtle card, and that says t. Blend it together. Yoon. It. Go really fast. What's my word? Unit. Good job. Unit. Like what unit of study are you guys studying right now? Unit. Now let's check to see if you spelled unit correctly. Unit is spelled U-N-I-T, unit. Thumbs up, you got it right. Awesome job, boys and girls. Now, let's go and practice some of our high frequency words. Now remember, high frequency words are words that we see most frequently when we are reading and writing. So all week we're gonna have 10 words that we're going to learn, but every day we're just gonna focus on two words, okay? So are you ready to help me with the two words for today? Awesome, okay. So the first word is many. I want you to help me read it. Many, good job, help me spell it. M-A-N-Y, many. Good job. The next word is morning. Help me read it. Morning. Good job. Help me spell it. M-O-R-N-I-N-G. Morning. Good job. So our two words for today, many and morning. Now, I have two sentences for us. I want you to help me read these 
two sentences, and we'll try to figure out which one of these words will go into the sentence so that it will make sense. Are you ready? Awesome. Let's get, let's practice reading. There are mm, fish in the sea. Okay, are you using your um, context clues? Which word would go in that sentence? Let's see the second sentence, ready? Mom runs in the mm. Good, I see you guys thinking. Okay, there are, and I hear some of you guys, there are many fish in the sea. Thumbs up if that's what you were thinking. Awesome. So that must mean morning goes within the second sentence. Let's read it. Mom runs in the morning. Good job, boys and girls. Now, let's practice reading the rest of the words that we're going to be learning this week. Ready? And we're going to start with the two that we learned today. So, many, morning, through, very, sleep, eat, colors, down, below, and don't. Now, as you're learning this week, don't forget, boys and girls, when you see those high frequency words, make sure you're reading them automatically. You shouldn't be stopping and sounding them out. Awesome job. Now, are you ready to train your ears? Awesome job. Okay, so I have a fun game for us today called What's My Vowel Sound? I'm going to say three words for you. Your job is to tell me what my vowel sound is. Are you ready? Okay. What if I said light, fine, bike? Say it with me. Light, fine, bike. What vowel sound did you hear? I. Good job. That was the long vowel I. It's so a long I says I. Good job. Okay, you ready for the second set of words? Okay, let's get started. Weight, race, pale. Ready? Weight, race, pale. Good job. That was the long A sound that said A. Good job. Okay, last set of words. Ready? Comb, road, phone. Okay, you're listening. Say it again with me. Comb, road, phone. What vowel sound did you hear? Good job. Long O. Long O says O. Good job listening, boys and girls. Now, let's go into our focus, or what we call our phonics for the week. So, let me turn this around. And boys and girls, last week we finished up with our long U, and we've been practicing all of our long vowels spelling pattern. This week, we're gonna practice our silent letters. Now, what are silent letters? Silent letters are what I like to call ghost letters, because guess what? You can see them, but they don't say a sound. So here are my silent letters. The K in together says N. See how I said the N? But we don't say the K, but the K is there when you're writing on words with a silent and letters or when you're reading. So K in says N, help me say it. K in says N. Mm, like in the word, no. And that goes with our nest card. So if you look at my sound spelling card, the nest card has the K in as one of its spelling pattern. Now another spelling pattern with a silent letter is the G in. So G in says N. Mm. Help me say it. G in says N. Mm. Good job. Like in the word nat. You see how I read that? Nat. The G didn't say anything, but the N made the sound. Nat. So the G is what we call a silent letter. Okay? Again, with my nest card, K N says N, G N says N. There are my silent letters. Now, the next silent letters is the W R. W R says, Good job. R, R, the W doesn't make a sound at all. We just say the R sound, R, like in the word write. And this is the write, like I write a letter, write. So WR says R, and that's my rose card. So if you're looking at the sound spelling card in your classroom, the WR is with the rose card because it says the R, but remember, the W doesn't make any sound. It's a silent letter or a 
ghost letter, you're right. Now, SC is a tricky one because you're gonna say, Mrs. Zhang, you taught us that SC is a blend, and you're right, SC is a blend. But sometimes, there's only a few words, boys and girls, where the SC says S. You see how the S makes a sound, but the C is silent, okay? Like in the word scent. And if you look at my sound spelling card, boys and girls, they kind of follow our soft, um, what we call our soft S sound. Remember how we learned the C E and the C I says S, okay? Uh, and then our last one is the MB. And that usually happens at the end of a letter. And the MB says mm. Again, the B is our silent letter. B doesn't say a sound, like in my word lamb. Okay, so MB says mm. Help me say that. MB says mm. The B is our silent, or what we call our ghost letter. So, and that goes with our map card, boys and girls. So these are what we call silent letters, or what we like to say ghost letters, because they don't make a sound, but they are there. So again, when you're writing and when you're reading, make sure you're reading them correctly and not making both sounds. So boys and girls, all week this week, we're gonna be practicing silent letters or ghost letters. So now that we know that KN says N, GN says N, WR says R, SC says S, and MB says mm, let's practice reading some words with the silent letters, ready? Okay, so I'm gonna get my reading fingers to help me and I want you guys to help read along with me. Okay, you ready? Thumb, good. R, there's that, wreck, good. Nat, it's tricky, isn't it? Knee, comb, don't say the last letter. Remember that B is that silent letter. Riss and new. Scene, sign, lamb, and wrap. How did you do? Awesome. And did you say, what's a new? Because when I was writing these, my, my daughter asked me, and I went, oh, here's a new. So a new is a type of animal. Does that help? Oops. There you go. Okay, now let's practice reading that sentence. Ready? Do you know how to write a play? Awesome job, boys and girls. Okay, we're going to quickly go into our sentence dictation because we don't have much time. Ready? My thumb and knee are numb. Ready? Okay, I'm going to go fast. Ready? My thumb. Good. Thumb was up on our um, board and knee was on my chart, R, and num is a trick one, N, um, and there's my silent MB. How did you do? Awesome job, boys and girls. Good job um, writing your um, words along with my sentence. Don't forget to come back tomorrow so, so that we can continue learning about our ghost word. And don't forget our message of the day, boys and girls. Let me get it. You are capable of amazing things because you are. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for everyone.